Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to be uh, discussing about our first test case creation using our web driver IO. Okay, how we can able to create we'll see. And a previous video session if you see that I explained about for how to uh, what exactly that uh, IO driver will help you and uh, what other things and your features. And also I explained about how to install our web driver IO into our local. Okay, the, and uh, uh, that all the things I showed. And here we are going to discussing about first test case creation. In the spec location, just I'm going to click that spec location. Okay, just I'm selecting and clicking for this particular one, new file creation, or I can able to right click on the spec location, create a new file, anything is okay. Okay, and here I'm going to use for first test case dot spec. I'm using the spec name actually. Spec as a spec name itself, and I'm going to use for JS. Okay, this is my file. Here we can able to <coughs> create one by one. I'm using here describe. Describe is nothing but it is a suit level creation. It is completely mocho framework structure. Okay, mocho structure will take for two arguments. That is a title and function creation. The function creation we can able to use a two format. First one we can able to this is a title demo. First demo and comma. And then you can able to create for function name itself like this. Or you can able to remove this function name itself and use it for equal to and less than symbol. If you use like this, this also will come under function creation. Okay, who all are followed my uh, YouTube channel, they maybe know that when uh, watching about Cypress automation. There also I showed the similar format. The similar format we are going to create here as well because of both the things are by using Node.js only. It It is basically a test case. In a describe, you can able to create n number of test cases by using it function, okay? And here also, this is also used by Mojo framework. Here also, we, it will accept for two things. One is title of the test case and function. If you create n number of test cases by using int block, by using this block, you can able to create n number of it by using different naming conventions. Okay, different naming conventions. Okay, here I'm going to use for sample demo, comma, again function creation. Okay. And here also there is a one thing we need to use it. Uh, there is a async APS. The latest version it is taking for async uh, things because uh, it is taking some time to uh, sync application. Okay, that's why they created for async things. And here we can able to use for our code level. Okay, for this I'm going to show you for Google.com to enter the value into the Google site. If you come to here, Google and here is Google, I'm going to enter the value here and I'm entering, clicking for this search box. These are the two functions I need to do. For this here, I can able to, first before that we need to provide for URL and for URL purpose, we need to enter for browser. It will provide for all auto generated information here. Or no need to choose this all the things. Just click on escape button in your keyboard. Escape button in your keyboard. Keyboard. Okay, once you click that one, that auto suggestion will go off. Then click there and click on URL. And provide your URL, which URL you are going to use it. Okay, and here after that we can able to like we can able to open our browser. But once it will open and it will go for very fast, then reducing purpose we can able to use for browser dot pass. 
pass it will take for how long you want to pass your browser now we can able to run our spec and this spec is basically first test case dot spec dot js file if you click now it will start your test case now you can see my browser is opened okay it is closed and my test case got passed as well okay now i'm going to use it for to entering this particular value we have text area and we have ide and name is there id also they provided now okay they provided for name as well we can, we can able to use for anything no problem every time we most of the time we use because uh, recently they develop text area and using for their uh, provided for id as a external okay but we'll go for world format and here how we can able to enter now we can able to use uh, await because i think we provide right await and dollar and the dollar we can able to provide here our path okay this is my path x path i provided okay then we need to use for set set value set value in the set value we can able to provide a location i'm providing for location okay again i'm going to use for this particular information here down okay and again i'm running the same command npx wdio run dot config dot spec and we need to provide the file location after providing and we need to search as well the search as well it is a input and we can able to take class name and name it is there and i can take the name as well again await a dollar and we can able to provide dot a click function okay now again we'll see now it is provided location and also it is enter because it is went very fast that's why you can't able to see the proper result okay otherwise you can able to see all the things one by one you can able to say that okay this is a way we can able to create now we create it then how we can able to generate the report and here we can able to see how to generate for allure report okay because in the last time we saw about that the allure report is presented in the package if you see the allure report is presented here if you go here as well if you search see allure report location this is the one okay and also if you see the project location this is a allure result folder okay and whenever we run it will generate for allure report we can able to generate our allure report here it is provided complete json format json format we need to generate for uh, html format of report okay for this we need to install for one particular command in case if you are not installed while you are installing your uh, web driver io and you have to use for one command that is called npm npm install at the rate wdio slash alluri 
iPhone report space iPhone iPhone save dot dev. This is the command you have to use it. Okay. Once you install that one, in case if you are not installed in the starting time, if you done, not required. Okay. And we need to install for another command that is npm install iPhone G. iPhone G is nothing but global allure allure iPhone. command line space iphone iphone save dev this is the command we have to install it to generating for uh, our allure report okay now i'm going to here i'm just i'm running my command here okay it will start installation and it will gender uh, it will install into your local once it is download as completion then we can able to generate our command line allow report it will take couple of minutes now it is completed now we uh, added for allow command line integration then we need to use for generating allow report now you can able to see only we have allow results is there now we am going to generating for allow space j now rate generate dot slash allure results spec okay once you've done this one just enter once you enter then you can able to see the report is generated allure report you can able to see input html report will be presented Okay, go to file location, hit it this one, it will open for browser or else we can able to use for allure space open. If you hit also, it will open for your report. Now you can see there are two specs we run and two test cases, two got passed. My login application, first demo. My login application is nothing but default application which we generated in the last demo time okay it is created for json file that particular file purpose and it is provided to that fast okay you can able to see and even you can able to see for categories and suit levels what are the suit level uh, test cases done graphicals you can able to see the graphical as well timelines also presented behavior related and packages what is the package spec location this is a simple allo report generation. I hope it this information will help you to learn more on WebDriver IO. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.